I'm your host, Nova M. Biamonte, and we are here at David LaChapelle's Make Believe Art Exhibition in New York City. So David, this is the first time that this museum has held a solo artist's work throughout the whole building. How does that feel? It, it feels great uh, to be back in New York. I mean, I had my very first show when I was 21 a block away. Um, so coming back now has been pretty incredible. And you've collaborated with the greats, Foxy Brown, Eminem, Lizzo, the list goes on. Is there somebody who's still on your list to collaborate? Um, yeah, the list is always going. I've still got lots of people that I want to photograph, but do all kinds of, I'm not done yet. It's just a survey of images. Also, you live in Hawaii now, yeah. but your roots are in New York. So I want to know, how does that affect your inspiration? Do you feel more inspiration there, here, or does it vary? Well, I, I grew up here, and this is my hometown, but where I live now in Maui is um, it's a different kind of jungle. It's, it's uh, rainforest, so it's incredible being back, you know, and there's a parallel in there, but um, I'll always love New York. When I dream, I'm always back here in, in the East Village in the 1980s. All my dreams are back in these villages. And what do you hope that the audience takes away from this show? I hope they take away that the, the, you can have faith and you can make things and believe, make believe, have faith, pray. I love it. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. How are you doing this evening? I'm well. How are you? So can you explain to me, out of all the events that now in New York Fashion Week, why was it so important to come today to this? Because David LaChapelle is the best, coolest, most fun, amazing photographer in the world. Definitely. Paris and I have such a history with him. He really, like, put us on the map. We did our first big photo shoot ever with David for Vanity Fair. It's like a full circle moment for you, yes? Does that make you a little bit emotional? No, I was just <laughs> saying that to my friend on the way up here. I was like... David LaChapelle was very instrumental in um, Paris and I's career. And we just love him and I want to support him. Amazing. And now with New York Fashion Week starting, I want to know fashionista to fashionista, what advice do you have? What needs to be in your bag? In my bag? A little makeup, a little lip gloss, obviously a phone. <laughs> and comfortable shoes? Or no? No, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, so we're here to make a statement. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Great. Right. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. I'm super blonde today. Wow. Oh, my God. This <laughs> there light, we go. I yes, and me I too. realize how blonde I am in this light. What's happening? Yes. Well, I would love to know Food God. We know where Kim's favorite donuts are. I would love to know where is your go-to spot, especially during New York Fashion Week. You know what? I go yesterday. I think it was in five different places. I was. Uh, I tried the Amon yesterday, the new private membership club, which is amazing and, and glamorous and beautiful. Um, Zero Bond, and then I go to all my little places. I went to JG Mellon for my burger the night before. Um, you know, we have like here we go to Ferdy in Paris. Here JG Mellon. We have all our little burger spots. I'm not a huge donut guy, so I don't like run for donuts. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of other more delicious things in New York than donuts. Well, what's your favorite cuisine? What would you say? Oh my god, I love Japanese cuisine. Yeah, I love it. I just actually was at Milos, so I feel like I have a little garlic on me from the Votarga. And uh, yeah, but I love, I love, I mean, I love Korean, I love Japanese. I eat pretty much, you know, I just was in uh, London. I had ketchup and mayonnaise ice cream. So that's my last thing that I posted. Yeah, so. Have you heard of the mac and cheese ice cream? Of course I have. Have you tried it? Are you a fan? I have not, but I think the ketchup ice cream kind of trumps mac and cheese ice cream. And it was a Heinz ketchup ice cream and Kikoman sauce. Yes. So I think those uh, those trump, trump the mac and cheese is a little, you know. <laughs> Taking some mental notes for a place yes, to try yes. out. And I'd love to know, what are you most looking forward to for the show? Uh, well, in general, what show? There's a lot of shows. Show. Oh, the David show. Oh, well, oh no, David show. I mean, it's always, it's expect the unexpected, like Big Brother, my favorite TV show that I watch. It's always expect the unexpected. When David, these pictures are, and I'm so happy that I'm wearing Tupac, and yes, Tupac is like it. one of the, and then like there's Kim looking gorgeous. Yes, that I'm, yeah, she looks amazing. Now that she's blonde, we're both blonde now, which is a crazy thing. So, but uh, I mean, I just, everything with David is so exciting. And it really brings like life into New York City. We need like as much David vibes into New York to bring it back because it's been really, uh, really quiet here. So I've been traveling on the road 
and um, hopefully this week we'll really push it through. Yes, and you'll have a blast on New York yeah. Fashion Week. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. You look amazing. Can I know who you're wearing? No. Um, it's something that I made. Oh, I love it. Well, I would love to know, what is it like being a muse, and what is it like working with a legendary David? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, he's so talented and um, so creative, and he always, um, you know, fascinated me, like, with things that was uh, very unexpected, you know? Amazing. And you've collaborated with so many people. I'd love to know, is there someone who's still on your list who you would like to collaborate with? Um, everybody. <laughs> I love it. And any tips for New York Fashion Week, for fashionista to fashionista? Um, drink lots of water and take your vitamins. Yes. Stay hydrated. Thank you so much. Have a blast. How are you doing this evening? How are you? Good. So fun fact, I used to be a paper magazine intern in college, so I've always been a fan of paper. Me too. I was an intern not yeah, in college too when I went to Parsons. Oh, I love that. So I'd love to know what brings you out tonight and what is your vision of David? Well, David is a genius to me and I before I even met him and worked with him, he's done some amazing shoots for paper like Dolly Parton and he did a sell amazing self portrait for us. But I used to be obsessed with his work when he used to shoot for details. He would do these fashion stories. And I, I just have always been obsessed with him. So, I mean, when someone like that who comes from downtown and is so creative and is such a huge success has a museum show like this, I just wouldn't miss it. I'm super excited. Because he's man man managed also to stay fresh and creative and amazing this whole time. So Definitely, definitely. And now we're New York Fashion Week, so we have a very busy week. I'd love to know, do you have any tips for the fashionistas about how to get around or things that you must have in your bag? Yeah, I say you have to wear comfortable shoes, and you should always have snacks that you like in your bag, whether that means candy bars or almonds or, like, whatever they are. Because you're always going to be hungry, and you're always going to have be, have tired feet no matter what. So... And just remember that it's not so glamorous as it seems. It's really like a lot of work and a lot of schlepping. But then again, there's glamour like Ashley oh, long show. So I would love to know, because this is the first solo show that an artist has done in the whole museum. Yes. So what made you really choose David LaChapelle? Well, I mean, David LaChapelle is a New York treasure. And uh, I represent the mayor's office of nightlife. And so we really came here today to honor him and this incredible once in a lifetime solo exhibit that is a retrospective of his work and to honor him with a proclamation declaring today David LaChapelle Day. Um, it is literally official in the name of uh, Mayor Eric Adams. And so that's what we were here today to uh, honor the moment, honor the man, and honor the museum. Amazing. Well, I would love to know, do you have maybe a favorite photograph or favorite celebrity that he's worked with that's your personal favorite and why? My personal favorite is probably Dre DiMatteo from The Sopranos. She's also a New York treasure, quintessential, bad a girl and she's actually a very good friend of mine and so I really loved seeing his work of her in paper magazine and um, you know he's just really been a great documentarian of some of the great New York artists and legends but in that rock and roll underground nightlife way um, and really made stars of the people we know really shine in New York underground culture and really elevated them to the place where they belong. Amazing. And I'd love to know, what do you hope that the audience takes away from this amazing show? Well, thankfully, it's going to be here for six months. So one thing to take away is that you can't miss it. Uh, you have plenty of time, but make sure you don't miss it. And um, I think, again, it really is a retrospective, not just of David's work, but of New York legends and of really subculture and how important it is to our greater society. And um, if you really want to know about New York history and art history and the history of the um, AIDS epidemic, then you can see it through David's eyes in this retrospective of his work. Art on a mission. Thank exactly. you so much and congratulations with everything. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.